The First Amendment. It protects five freedoms. Press, religion, assembly, the right to petition the government, and speech. Free speech, the bedrock of American democracy. And yet, the former president of the United States of America has been banned from Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube. I mean, that list goes on and on and on. But let's be honest here. Big tech companies like Twitter and Facebook have every right to ban, censor, or block whoever the heck they want. But yet, these social media platforms like to claim that anyone, anywhere, can join the conversation. Take Facebook's mission statement, for example. It says, and I quote, Facebook to stay connected with friends and family, to discover what's going on in the world, and to share and express what matters to them. Here's Twitter's mantra. The mission we serve as Twitter Inc. is to give everyone the power to create and share ideas and information instantly without barriers. Our business and revenue will always follow that mission in ways that improve and do not detract from a free and global conversation. So both are claiming to be platforms that anyone can use to share and express their opinions and views instantly, without barriers. And yet, here they are, yet again, acting like publishers. Picking and choosing who and what content to publish. They have become the gatekeepers of free speech, which I suppose is better than the government. But for all of you applauding this, Mark Zuckerberg and Jack Dorsey picking and choosing one to apply their own platform's policy, I would be curious to know. What would you think if Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook decided to censor content about climate change? What if Jack Dorsey and Twitter decided to fact check inconsistent climate models? What if both decided to remove all content mentioning police brutality or racial injustice? Would you care about free speech being censored on social media then? You tell me.